प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब द यूट्यूब चैनल विकीनोट फाउंडेशन एंड क्लिक द बेल आइकॉन टू रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यू अपलोडेड वीडियोज हेलो फ्रेंड्स इट सुजीत वाग यू आर वॉचिंग विकीनोट चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू एट जीरो फाइव वन बेस्ड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो विथ मी टूडे आई एम हैविंग द एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर किट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अबाउट द इंटरनल ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ दिस एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट so first of all take down the snapshot of this block diagram and i will elaborate each block at a time so this is the block diagram for the 8051 microcontroller and now we'll discuss all these things in detail see the all these blocks such as cpu on chip ram on chip rom timer 0 timer 1 then bus control input output port serial communication all these are present on a single chip so just i will draw the block over here all these things are present on a single chip that is inbuilt within the microcontroller so as it has 8 bit cpu that is first important feature that means it can process 8 bits of data at a time this is a 40 pin dip package ic it has 32 pins which can be used as a input output pins 8 pins are special purpose pins the operating frequency on which it operates is maximum up till 10 megahertz the operating voltage is plus 5 volt dc so in this you can see the oscillator frequency is provided to the cpu that is 8 bit cpu and the maximum operating frequency is till 10 megahertz or it may go till 20 megahertz also so now on chip ram that is 256 bytes of memory the on chip rom that is 4 kilobytes it has two on chip timers that is timer 0 and timer 1 then it has bus control unit which will look after the address bus and data bus operations then it has four input output ports which are labeled as p0 p1 p2 p3 each port has eight pins so obviously it gives rise to 32 number of input output pins and it do have a serial communication port which is used for the serial communication between pc and microcontroller the pin which is used to receive the data is rxd and which is used to transmit the data is txd the features i have already written on this so in the timers block we can additionally have two inputs that is for the counters so counter 0 and counter 1 and the role of counter is to count the external events which are happening outside the microcontroller while the role of timer is to generate the delay in the programs in order to delay a certain process additionally on chip rom is 4 kilobytes we can interface the external rom of up till maximum size of 64 kilobytes now if you look at the address bus and data bus the size of data bus is 8 bits in case of 8051 microcontroller while the size of address bus is 16 bits so that means maximum it can address 2 raised to 16 number of location that is 64 kilo locations and if you look at the interrupts it has 6 interrupts including the reset as a one of the interrupt so five interrupts plus one that is reset as a interrupt it has two in external interrupt inputs those pins are int0 and int1 these are active low inputs which are provided to the directly to the cpu of the microcontroller so my dear friends as we are discussing about the introduction to 8051 microcontroller system i would like to share some information about this microcontroller ic so this is 40 pin dual lane package ic whose first pin starts from here while this is pin number 20 this is pin number 21 and this is pin number 40 so how to read this pin number as it, you can see here a notch is there and one dot over here so you have to start counting pins from here onwards so this 8051 microcontroller system has four ports first port is p0 second port is p1 third port is p2 
and fourth port is P3. It has a crystal oscillator which will provide the operating frequency, maximum operating frequency till 20 megahertz. Here we have connected crystal of 10 megahertz frequency. Along with you can see two small capacitors over there. And this portion is related with the power supply as your microcontroller requires plus 5 volt DC supply. This power adapter will provide the power supply for this microcontroller. While this port as we have seen in the block diagram, this is a serial communication port called as DB9 connector which is useful in order to have serial communication between microcontroller and if we are connecting it with PC. Now we will move back to the ports. Each port has 8 pins, P0. So now we will move back again to the ports. Each port has 8 pins, P0, P1, P2, P3. So total there are 32 number of input output lines while 8 pins are called as special purpose pins which are used for power supply, crystal connection, reset connection as well as related with external memory operations and this switch provides the reset to this microcontroller. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more such videos. Please like and share this video with your friends. Also refer my website wikinote.org. Follow us on our Facebook page Wikinote Foundation. The links for the same are provided in the description box below.